I'm Brian Elliott. Welcome to another edition of Behind the Brand. Today we have a very special edition for you. Edge edition. The Edge edition. I like that. <laughs> I'm here with SuperTuber Stuart Edge, mm -hmm. and uh, this is this is gonna be a lot of fun. I know. Yeah. Welcome to Behind the Brand. Yeah. This is. A, thanks for having me in this awesome car. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. I mean. <laughs> Today we're we're doing a little. Uh, I don't know. Homage. A little. A little homage, yeah, a little trip around South Orange County. Welcome to our hood. So how do you measure success then? I mean, yeah. subscribers is great, view count is great. Yeah. What do you do if you create awesome content and there's just crickets? So it's, it's different for everybody. You really determine what you want to do to be successful. Yeah. And you just got to know, like, this is what I want to do and that will determine my success. So how do you measure? How does Stuart how do Edge, though, measure it? How do I measure success? Uh, so right now I'm trying to reach mainstream audiences. Okay. And so that is how I view success. If I am tapping into that mainstream audience, yeah. then I'm being successful. Because that's my goal. That's what I want to get to someday. So you were on Jimmy Fallon, right? I mean, yeah. that was awesome. Yeah. It's a double-edged sword. How so? It, it was awesome to be on that show. And it's a huge credibility. Like, people say, it's like, whoa, you're on Jimmy Fallon. But at the same time, it's always like, now, that's people always reference that. And it's like, it's something that I have to see. Okay, well, I was on Jimmy Fallon. How am I doing now? Because I was Jimmy Fallon on, I was on the Jimmy Fallon show two years ago. Okay. So people always bring it back up. So and you're really only as good as your last at bat. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And so... I, in fact, I would tell myself that when I first started making videos. I said, I'm only as good as my next video. Not saying that, or not discrediting or discounting the videos that I did in the past. But I told myself so that I didn't get lazy. Because I was having a lot of success. And if I was like, ah, oh, cool. Well, I mean, those videos in the past, they were great. If I told myself that, I would get lazy. So I always told myself, I'm only as good as my next video. 